and welcome to a new tutorial where we're going to explain how to set up a trigger area and to open and close a door for example in this case when we enter or exit the room or just make it more interesting we will also turn on and off a light that we will have the, in this room so let's go in order to create a trigger area we go to the VR element tab from the drop down list we select trigger area we will give it a name we call it trigger room whatever you want actually over there and then you will see on enter on an exit we split it up just to have to see better what you're doing on each of the triggers especially when you on enter and one an exit instead of having stack stacking all your actions in one list so on on enter we want to play an animation of the door that we will import from 3d studio max we're not going to explain how to import it but it's already imported i will show you in a bit and the next thing that we want to the next action that we want to use is activate object so we turn on and off the light that we showed in a previous tutorial on how to turn on and off as well your directional light on exit we do exactly the same thing we want to play an animation the closing of the door for example add action and again activate object add action and once you've done you can select the sound that you want to use then hit create trigger area once you've done that you will see that we created this trigger area we just move it to the place where we want and if we select it you can see that we have an entry and an exit here we can see the uh, actions that we added on both sides we just need to fill up with the with the content in a bit first we need to put it put our trigger area in the correct uh, play, uh, location so make sure it's zero then make it a little bit longer that when you enter you have any space in order to trigger it then in the Y we will make sure it's the same height as the door it's up to you how you want in the Z axis this can be just for make this three just simplicity and I move it to a place that you cover everything that you want so once you've done that we also need a door so we have included the door very basic uh, animation just open to one frame just make sure that the wrap mode is in once drag in our uh, door already put it in the correct location with the correct pivot point and make sure that you uncheck play automatically that it doesn't start playing while we hit one we also need a light a point light in this case we put it in somewhere in the room and now we are going to set up our actions or in the play anima uh, animation we select leg legacy but we also support the uh, animator so here we drag in the object that you want to play that's our door with the animation attached to it and we our clip name called open as you can see over here where is it over here then we want to we have the option play stop or toggle we will want to play only and the speed is one and for our light we have only one light that we want to turn on and off is the light that's for Let's start with turning off the light. In the exit, exactly the same thing. We drag in our door. We are we're going to use exactly the same animation, but now reverse the animation. In the animation action again, we select play, and then instead of one, we call it minus one, and then it will reverse our uh, animation or speed. And again here, we select one as a size and drag in our light. And when we hit play, it will not do anything because we need to add also touch selector in order to interact with the trigger area. And this is also very easily done. We go, we select the camera, we go to our VR selector, we select touch from the drop down list, drag in our camera, it's already done, add touch selector. These steps will be discussed in another tutorial when we set it up uh, for your usage with the Vive controller 
then we just hit link trigger and it's done if I go select the main camera and we'll see that we added a box collider a rigid body and our touch selector plus the keyboard grab that we don't use it right now but we will uh, explain in a, another tutorial now if I hit play and move my camera we will open the door and turn off the light and if I exit we will close the door and turn off the light exactly the same thing the trigger area is very useful for various purposes for example playing if we set up this way that we when we look at the screen and it plays the video but we can also use a trigger area to play the video and then when we exit it will stop instead of using buttons we can change uh, meshes we can maybe change materials we can change it textures particles messages appear so it's depending on how you want and you can use as I explained all the actions that we have in our uh, list in the uh, trigger area as well to trigger actually hope uh, this was useful and if not just shoot us an email and uh, we will try to help you out